Alright guys, welcome back, half fast, save one nine. Dehydrated. I gotta go drink some Jaderade. Anyway, got the cab on. Cab's on, cab's in the right spot. Put our like inch, inch and a quarter gap back here. It's not hitting the gas tank. Yes. Got this all installed. Came out pretty nice. Um, I'm just gonna spray paint the front here. Cause that all gets covered anyway. So, like I said, I got a new weather strip back there, weather strip over there. Um, one thing I did mention in the last video was I thought it was gonna interfere with the, the steering column with the header. And uh, clears, clears pretty good. Um, hopefully, uh, that piece right there can hold up to the heat. But, <clears throat> anywho, this thing's ready, ready to go. I did uh, screw that wire harness connector in. I'll run the wiring, the loom. When I get back, I'm gonna run the AC lines. I gotta see if. One of my buddies will uh, take this radiator and weld in a uh, three-quarter, five-eighths inch hose fitting because the uh, heater core, this hose is supposed to go into it and then from out into the radiator. So I got to see if he'll hook me up and do that. That hose goes somewhere over there. This hose goes zooming up to the condenser anyway came out pretty nice I like it so should be uh, pretty solid and then uh, you could see well, I don't know if you can see in here but let me lighten it so we got all this cooked burnt paint from welding as far as I can go brightness um, I got to adjust the four-wheel drive link because I did move it back it won't go into four high it goes into two-wheel drive neutral four low so the lever under there can be adjusted and like always got a mess to clean up Cleaned up the front yard. These headers look beast in there. Things look nice. Not too shabby for uh, forty or uh, seventy-five bucks or seventy-three bucks, whatever they were. Um, especially since I had fifty-three dollars in uh, eBay bucks. So big old wire nest. So I'm going to have to go buy some more uh, wire loom, or I might have some in the barn. I don't know. I didn't know. So, anyway, I'm pleased with this gap here. I thought uh, for sure when I came up that one inch, because the frame goes up like this. So I thought for sure that it was going to bring the cab up more. But it doesn't look like that's the case. The bolts in the front were a pain in the butt because I had to get between the frame rail. Um, yeah, it's a tight fit in there for the slave cylinder or clutch assist cylinder, I guess you can call it now. Since, uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to ask a buddy if he can take weld because uh, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to blow through it. And uh, he's got a better welder. So I'll see if he can't take weld me a nipple on there for a return for the heater core. And then uh, I'm going to paint the springs the, or the hinges. I'm going to try to look for some new hinges. Maybe there's a new style. And then... Uh, Next next off cycle, I'll do the wiring, run all the wiring the way I want it. Headlights, blinkers, blinkers are 
in the front um, in the grill so these might be actually running lights or blinkers I can't remember alright guys that's gonna be it for the project crack pipe I gotta go shave my head I shave my face take me a share and drink about 14 gallons of water and a Gatorade alright guys that's gonna be it thanks for watching tell me what you guys think subscribe comment do what you guys do thanks for watching later